What is the number one most important, absolutely necessary thing that needs to be installed in your website? Yo, what's good everybody? Justin here coming at you with a brand new video and in this video we're going to be going over the basics of a Facebook pixel. How to install it, what it is, and why you need it. Alright, so first things first, before you get started with any sort of website development, whether it's Shopify, whether you're running a business for your clients, creating a website for your clients, doesn't matter what it is. Any sort of website you have, you have to have a Facebook pixel installed, whether you're using it or not. And the reason being for this is because a Facebook pixel works as data. And since you're managing websites and running advertisements, you need as much data as possible to get the best results for your store and your clients' stores. For those of you that are wondering what an actual Facebook pixel is, it's basically just this code that you install into your Shopify store or your website that keeps track of all the customers that come through, the ones that purchase, the ones that add a cart, the ones that initiate checkout. And the reason why this is so important is because once you get a certain amount of customers or visitors, you can go in there and create look-alike audiences of these current customers that already came to your store. And if you don't know what a look-alike audience is, it's very cool because you can basically go in there and tell Facebook, be like, hey, I have 100 customers that purchased this product already. Go out there and find me 100 more customers that look and match their identity, match their interests, match their age, and stuff like that. So you're really at this point letting Facebook do all the do all the work for you and it makes your life a lot easier it's a lot easier to scale and your cost per click is a lot better than what it would be when you're just randomly targeting a bunch of interests so with that being said let me take you to my computer real quick and I'll show you more about this all right so once you're in Facebook over here you're gonna click on you're gonna go back into the business manager section and the way I like to do that is just click on ads down at the bottom so here we are again we're in one of my old um, ad accounts the one that I sold that I've been showing you in my other videos first thing you're gonna do when you come into the Facebook ads section or the Facebook business section is come in here and click all tools and click on pixels alright so it's really simple you're just gonna come in here and click use an interrogation or tag manager and you're gonna find the platform that you're installing it under so we're gonna do this for Shopify you're going to copy this and then you're going to come into online store and click preferences and honestly all you have to do is just copy and paste that and hit save and it's really that easy so I did that click next check your status cool so I don't have the store up and running, but the way you can check this is just by going to your store and clicking like the add a cart button. That way you'll find out that it's working by this being green. All right, so we're in here right now under um, one of my other stores. And as you can see in here, we have over almost 11,000 um, pixel updates within the last seven days. And what this number right here really indicates is basically just these top events, your page views, your view, view contents, add carts, purchases, stuff like that. So I'll click on here and take you in and break it down a little bit more. So as you can see for today, it's about 10.30 a.m. and we have about 530 pixel updates. This section right here is really cool because this is where you'll know if your pixel is up to date and if you can use it for a lookalike audience. So what I like to use is purchase, initiate cart, add a cart, and view content. Um, I will be going over all that in the next upcoming videos. This is going to be kind of like a series video, so if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button below because I'm going to be going over all this in detail here shortly. But as you can see, so purchase right here, we have 234 purchases over on the store, and this store specifically is only promoting one product right now. So over 200, that means I'm solid to go with a lookalike audience. So the next upcoming videos are going to go more into detail about how to create a lookalike audience, what you need and stuff like that. This video just wanted to make it super short, super simple, just to show you how to install the Facebook pixel because, like I said, if there's anything you get away from any of these videos, this is the most important thing. You need to have a Facebook pixel installed for your store or your client's store. That way you can track your data and be able to get better results in the future. All right, that's it for this video. It's pretty basic, pretty simple. That's why I like to structure my videos. I'll be coming at you guys with valuable content every single day for the next 30 days. So if you haven't already, 
Make sure you hit join the fan by hitting that nice look and subscribe button below. And if you found any valuable content here, make sure you give me a thumbs up. That's it. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>